Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're addressing a frustrating issue that many developers encounter when using Visual Studio Code and Git. Our viewer has installed VS Code and Git on their Windows 10 machine, but they're running into an error when trying to commit changes to their ASP.NET project. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help resolve this problem. Welcome back to another technical video. We're gonna go through the question, the answer, and I hope that you get the solution. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and work your way through to getting to that end resolution. Let's get started. The first step to resolve the Git error in Visual Studio Code is to ensure that your project is initialized as a Git repository. You can do this by navigating to the source control panel and clicking on Initialize Repository. If you encounter the error message stating fatal, not a Git repository, it indicates that your project directory is not recognized as a Git repository. Make sure you are in the correct project folder. Next, you need to configure your Git user information. Open your terminal and run the following commands to set your global username and email. This is essential for committing changes. After configuring your user information, try committing your changes again. If you still face issues, ensure that you have staged your changes using git add. Finally, if the problem persists, check your Git installation path in Visual Studio Code settings. Make sure it points to the correct Git executable. You can do this by editing the settings.json file. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. If you're facing a Git execution error in Visual Studio Code, start by checking the Git log outputs. You need to configure your user email and name. Open the command prompt and navigate to your project folder using the cd command. You can set your email and name globally or just for the current repository. To configure globally, use the command git config globaluser.email followed by your email address and then set your name with git config globaluser.name. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question I hope and you found that resolution. Guys, if this helped, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good one.